yo, 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 yo. What's going on everyone? It's Kath from Kath underscore official Insta and I'm back with a flu or maybe it's a cold. I don't know. My voice sounds a little bit husky. So you know, the missus might like that a little bit. Just kidding, I've actually got the lurgy. She's not gonna like this. And I'm back with a bit of a hint. This is a bit of a clue about what we're about to look at. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> the Levi's Cross Jordan Denim Black 4 or Black Denim 4, whatever you wanna call it. I've got this shoe. Yeah! And as you can see, I'm all Levi's swagged out, the jeans, the denim jacket. This isn't a controversial point of view, but in my honest opinion, yeah, in my honest opinion, the black denim four is better on foot. Now hold on, it's better on foot than the white one. I said it. I bloody said it. The white denim fours, people are going mad for because they're technically more limited than the black ones. I don't really care. I think the black ones are dope. Wait until you see the on foot shots later on in the video. I am telling you, out the box, without a shadow of a doubt, the black denim four is better to go straight on foot than the white ones. What you're gonna see of the white ones is a bunch of customizers and other people die dipping them, fraying them, tearing them, doing all this stuff to make it look just as good as this does on foot. They're gonna try and make it bang more than this bangs and nothing is banging more, this weekend at least, than the black denim fours. Let's get a quick look at some of the B-roll. And fresh out the box, you've got this amazing card from Levi's and Jordan that just says, Jordan and Levi's are together again, fusing the signature Air Jordan style with Levi's premium denim, baby. These two icons of sport and style reimagine their roots by combining the beauty of the Air Jordan 4 and the authentic heritage of Levi's Strauss and Co. Signed, Levi's and Jordan. Bang. Getting some bang for your buck there. This shoe feels so premium. And if you don't know already, it comes as part of the 10 year anniversary of the original Air Jordan Cross Levi's partnership. But the denim upper and Jordan 4 returns. Now, what's interesting is Nike and Jordan are actively encouraging people to customize the denim range and series. And what it says on the official launch page is, scuff it, bleach it, add patches, drip paint, or skip the distressing and rock it straight out the box, yeah? the black rendition. As you can see, you've got the black denim upper, you've got the gum outsole, you've even got, yeah, you've even got the black denim on the outsole, which I think is dope. My pair already has some a little bit of distressing, which I'm not distressing about, ha ha ha, dum bum And yeah, you've got the black uh, gum sole. Uh, on the underfoot, you've also got some red detailing with the white Jumpman logo. Uh, on the tongue, which is my favorite part, you've got the size of your shoe, You've also got the Jordan logo, Jumpman logo with the Levi's tag sewn in to the tongue. And on the other side of the tongue, or the underside, you've also got the official Levi's logo with Air Jordan on the inside. Um, inside, on the inner sole, you've also got the uh, Levi's tag and the Levi's logo. And you've got the traditional, I don't know how they managed to do this, but they executed this perfectly. You've got the Jordan 4 silhouette with denim just all over with black waxed laces, gold eyelets or aglets on the end of the laces as well. And you've got the Jordan Jumpman logo embroidered on the heel counter with the official Jordan 4 uh, upper on the back of the heel. So you know those six, no sorry, those nine uh, bumps that come on the back of most Jordan 4s. Now, I love this shoe. I say that about all the shoes I review, but I, I genuinely am blown away by the quality of this shoe, especially because of the controversy with the quality of the Travis Scott 4s. This is a happy change, a happy surprise. I managed to pick these up for retail, and retail was not cheap, ladies and gentlemen. Retail was £215 if you got it shipped. £210 retail. I got these for retail, paid £210, no discount, no regrets. No remorse. Let's go to the on foot shots now. Yeah.
Okay, and that's it for the Jordan 4's Levi's review. The Jordan 4 Levi's Black Denim. Man, I've got to get used to saying that because I got them. Woohoo! That's it for the review. Hope you like the shoe. As I said, my view on this shoe might be a little bit controversial. It might upset a lot of people, but I'm telling you honestly, if you see the white denim fours in pictures and in hand, they look better than the black denim fours. On foot, with no customization, no distressing, no drip drying or dip dyeing or whatever you want to do, no customization, straight out of the box on foot, the black denim fours bang way more than the white ones. Am I saying that because I haven't got the white denims and I've got the black ones? Maybe there's a chance of that, but I'm not salty about that. And I had, potentially, I did have the option to get either or, and I chose the black because I think the black ones bang. Yeah? That's it from me. If you like the video, if you like the review, share, rate, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at kaf underscore official underscore insta. Huge shout out to the Offspring community. Passed by Offspring Selfridges on pickup day for the UNCs. I haven't got them, disclaimer, I haven't got the UNCs. Uh, the UNCs, the Yeezy Butters and the Denim range. I met a lot of cool people there, really chuffed. I'm still buzzing from that and I'm actually ill. I've actually got the flu and I'm still buzzing about that. Uh, people that just share the same interests. So shout out to the Offspring community. You lot are the sickest and I do this because of people like you lot. So yeah, stay fly, see you soon. Blech.